Today I'm going to make dal, Indian dal. And I have all the ingredients laid out here in front of me for what's needed. Um, I use a combination of spices that um, I particularly like to use. But there's loads of varieties of dals and loads of different combinations of spices that can be used. I got this recipe from good friends in Canada that I worked with. And that is Rafat Ali Khan from Hyderabad and Mobina Musi Reedy from Bangladesh. I worked closely with them for many years in Toronto. So what we have here are red lentils. Um, this is garam masala. Now garam masala is a mixture of spices um, and it's particular to particular homes. People make it themselves. This is a garam masala I bought. Now here is uh, cumin, whole cumin. I have um, fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek, uh, you have to be a bit careful using that. It can be bitter. So use a small amount of fenugreek. Then here is mustard seeds. I like mustard seeds, so I like to use them. And I use coriander. Coriander whole. Now what I do with the coriander is I grind it up. You can buy ground coriander, but I prefer it um, when it's ground fresh. I have a, an old coffee grinder that I use to grind up the coriander. This is shallots. That's one large shallot. You can use onion. It's, you know, it's up to you. you. I happen to have shallots. Minced garlic, and that is about three large cloves of garlic. Tomato. Uh, the tomato I have here is a combination of tin tomato and fresh tomato. I had um, some tin tomatoes left, so I'm using them up. I'm going to use half a stock cube. Uh, you can use it or not, that's optional. Um, I've just started using that lately and I kind of like the flavour of the stock cube. A bay leaf. Now this is a fresh bay leaf because I have a, a bay tree outside. Uh, you can use dried bay leaves, no problem, or you don't have to use bay leaves at all. And of course, ginger. Now I will grate the ginger into the recipe. Okay. Along with this, you need some oil for frying and water. Okay, you start by putting some oil in your pan. I'm using a cast iron wok, but you can use any kind of pot. Um, I would use, I'm using a rapeseed oil. You can use sunflower oil, vegetable oil. I would advise against using a uh, an olive oil because olive oil is actually, the, the flavor is too strong for a dish like this. Okay. What you do now is you first put in your onion or your shallots or whatever it is you're using into the oil, then your garlic, your chopped garlic, then a teaspoon of cumin, maybe a little bit more cumin. A little bit more than a teaspoon. I like poppy seeds, so I'm going to put in a heap teaspoon of poppy seeds. As I said before, just be careful with fenugreek. Fenugreek can be a little bit bitter. So I'm putting in a half a teaspoon of fenugreek. The um, ground coriander seeds is really lovely and sweet. And it can take a lot. So you can put in two heap teaspoons of coriander, ground coriander seeds. And then you put in your tomato. Okay. Stir that up. And the next thing that's going to be included in this is ground is grated ginger now i have a ginger grater and i'm using fresh ginger you can use dried ginger 
you can use so if you don't have fresh ginger and you don't have a specific ginger grater you can use dry ginger you can use uh, any kind of grater actually I just got this ginger grater from my good friend in Canada Joe and after all these years it still works well so but fresh ginger is lovely if you can if you have the time to use it is great ginger is very stringy so it's kind of nice to have it uh, grated in rather than big chunks so then what you do is you fry this off it's what you've made basically is a paste and a paste with certain um, um, spices. There is one more thing that needs to be added to this, and that's chili. I'm using a jar of chili, um, just simply because I don't have any fresh chilies. Chili is the only thing that I would say just be careful of how you use it. The other spices, you just play around with them to what you like. I like chili, so I don't mind putting in a fair amount of it. Um, this is a kind of recipe where you continue to play with the combination of spices. So, if you run out of oil, um, I tend not to put more oil in it. Indian food can be a bit oily. So I just add a little bit of water to cook the paste. So what you're doing is you're cooking the paste out now. So you're softening the garlic, the onion, and cooking out the spices, or getting the flavour out of the spices. Okay, now we've cooked out the spice mix with the tomatoes, the garlic and the onion and the ginger. Um, and I kept saying poppy seeds in the last piece, but actually I meant mustard seeds. It's mustard seeds, not poppy seeds. Now we're ready to include the red lentils. I'm going to put in half a uh, stock cube and um, water. Also, I'm going to put in a fresh bay leaf. With the bay leaf, if you crush it a bit in your fingers, you get more of the bay flavour in the food. This is, you can put it in or not as you require. You need to keep an eye on this lentil dish as it's cooking because what will happen is the lentils will begin to swell um, and you m will need to add more water. So this needs to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's ready. There's only one last thing that needs to happen with this dal. It looks nice and creamy now. And that is... Uh, fairly heaped teaspoon of garam masala mixture and just cook that in for about three or four minutes at this point you have a dal this is a basic dal if you want to um, you could make it more Indonesian or Malaysian style by putting in a tablespoon of peanut butter now and letting that um, cook into it you can also include some coconut milk. You can turn this into a soup by adding more stock and vegetables. So it's quite versatile, but as it is at the moment, it's fine. It can be eaten with rice and yogurt or just rice. It can be eaten with chapati, with naan bread, with... Um, a roti parata so it's it's quite versatile what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of more water to it and some vegetables and I'm going to eat it with rice and barbecue chicken in about two hours okay thanks very much now bye